Bates accident. Now, the biting doctor's strike continues to hinder effective running of operations at all public hospitals here in Kenya. The strike entering its 22nd day today, so very minimal activities witnessed across many public health institutions with nurses in some hospitals attending to as few as two patients throughout the past three days. Timothy Otieno reports. Empty benches welcome you to the Dagoretti Sub-County Hospital. The nationwide doctor's strike now entering its fourth week, leaving hospitals abandoned and nurses with not much to do. At this facility that handles mostly emergency cases, only five patients have sought assistance at the maternity wing of the hospital in the last three days, with three referrals being issued. Irene Wanjiru is one of the two women who delivered here nearly 24 hours ago, staring happily at her 2.8 kilogram baby, whom she has since named John Jenga, Irene is the only patient admitted at the maternity wing of this facility. In Wasingishu, patients flock the county's main hospital, but with the doctors still on strike, many of them are left to go back home with little assistance. A series of collapsed talks between doctors' unions and the government has meant that patients have had to seek alternative means in cases of serious illness. That notwithstanding, growing animosity between the Pharmaceutical Society of Kenya, who have threatened to stop the distribution of medicine to all hospitals in the country from January the 3rd, should the government fail to resolve the ongoing doctor's strike, and the Pharmaceutical Technologists Union, who oppose that move, may serve to worsen an already crippled health sector. There's no way pharmacists can, get the, can take drugs to a facility where there is no pharmacist who will be able to ensure that those products are kept properly they are, and if a prescription is done, then it is dispensed by them properly. Uh, that is a fallacy. Uh, it's not true. Uh, because in healthcare we have over 20 cadres. Out of the over 20 cadres, only two are on strike. But even as the doctor's strike continues during this festive season, Many are hoping that the stalemate between the union officials and government can be resolved quickly for the sake of those who desperately need critical medical assistance. Timothy Otieno,